What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. If you're new here, my name is Steve and I am a full-time reseller. It means I go to thrift stores, Goodwill bins, and find items and resell them online, eBay, Poshmark, Depop, Amazon. So right now, it's just about 8 o'clock, it's Friday morning. I'm heading to the Goodwill bins to see what I can find to resell. So I appreciate you watching and let's get headed to the bins. Here we go, first bin I looked in. A pair of Seven for All Mankind jeans. I always find good jeans at the bins, every time I go. Unfortunately, these had a hole in the crotch, so it was a pass. Waiting for them to finish bringing out the aisle. This is the time where you could go around, and without touching, you usually look to see if you could spot something you want. And as soon as they say go, you can grab it right up. But I am off to a great start. The very first row of bins they brought out, within one bin, I found three pieces of Lululemon, Jim Shark, a couple of Untuck It. It was a crazy one bin store. All right, looking through all the hard goods while they're bringing out the new aisle of clothing. And I just found the vintage John Deere camel hat. Now that's a shame right there. Both of those are broke, but the Boston one is good. It's a row that they just pulled out. In one bin, I pulled about six good t-shirts. All right, I'm in keeping three t-shirts. And this is the single stitch vintage one. So now that I went through, the, I end up getting four t-shirts, not three. So now that I went through those, I turn around and the next aisle is already three quarters of the way out. So the continual flow here. That's what I like about the morning time. So they just threw someone out of here and she wouldn't leave. They, they were yelling at her and after five minutes, she finally left. This place is crazy. All right, so I got some official player issued sweatpants from the Dolphins. A pair of Nike on fields and then the lightweight ones. Both had the player number tags inside. All right, so that was an interesting morning at the bins. I got an incredible haul, lots of good stuff, and um, they finally threw somebody out. How do you get thrown out? As an adult, how do you get thrown out of a business? That tells you about your behavior right there. There's basically one rule. When they bring out the new aisles, wait until they finish the incomplete aisle, and then you can go. And these women, they bring out the one cart, two cart, they start grabbing, the next writers start grabbing, and the management is always yelling at them, threatening. Well, finally today he said, that's it, one lady grabbed right in front of him. He said, you're out, goodbye, you gotta go. And she said, no, she refused to leave. You imagine that? And he said, well, you got two choices. You can leave right now and come back another day, or I can call the police and you will never come back. And she still stood there and argued back and forth and she finally left. But that's the behavior of these people. They can't follow a simple rule, wait until the entire aisle is out. It's like children. And it's frustrating. I try to avoid them as much as possible. So anyway, let's head home. I got some things I gotta pack up. Ooh, about to be an accident in the parking lot. This guy's not even looking. I got orders to pack and then um, go through the hall. And I'll show you comps so you know why I picked up the things I did. Alright, so I got seven items I gotta pack up. Today is Friday, just got home from the bins. Little used Nikon camera, vintage paper fastener, a Robolo, Robolo, that's a boat manufacturer, hat, a vintage, a vintage Aspen, Colorado long sleeve t shirt, just a tie from London, a pair of Volcom shorts. And these Nike Pro athletic, like women's shorts. And these are a good, I guess you could say Bolo. Not big, big money, but Nike Pro. Anything Nike. Nike is very expensive in the stores. Nike Pro. I found these two women, same size, different colorway. 
in the bins. Together these weigh 5.5 ounces, so 6 ounces. These cost me about 80 cents for the two of them. And they sold in 4 hours for $22.75. And I'm not going to go through each individual packing. These are all first class, basically, as I always do. Clear bag, make a nice look. And then just a um, polyvinyl mailer, first class weight. All right, ship is done. I didn't go through it one by one because, like I said, it's all first class. The only thing that was any different, hat, eBay 8x6x4. And then the camera into a little 6x4x4. And if you're really new at shipping and you think, hey, the label's too big for the box, just fold it over like that. Just make sure none of the information is on the edge. All right, so what I mentioned at the beginning about, you know, leaving feedback. As a seller, I see a lot of, I guess you, they're new sellers, especially on Facebook, like selling groups, always asking, you know, hey, I'm not getting much feedback. Should I ask for it? How about new? And the truth is, it's very low percent of people are going to send you feedback. They say it's like maybe 10, 20, 30, somewhere in there. And maybe you get more if you're lucky. But it's not a big percentage of your sales are going to come back. A lot of buyers don't spend, you know, every day or multiple times a week like sellers do on eBay. They might buy something and not be back on eBay for, you know, a good amount of time. Sometimes you'll get feedback a couple of months later from something you sold because when they came back on, oh, they saw their number went up if it's low. And they look and they go, oh, yeah, I bought that. Let me send them feedback. So, in my opinion, don't ask for it. Now, there's subtle ways of doing it. You can print thank you cards, you know, say, I hope you're pr happy with your item, blah, blah, blah. You know, if you are, please leave feedback. You could do it that way. You know, me, I don't ask. You got to look at it as um, no news is a good news type of situation. If you don't get a complaint, it's a good sale. You got your money. Keep it moving. The feedback will come in time. People want to grow too fast. Now, I understand it's a credibility thing. You, if you're starting out, you need to have some sort of numbers to like avoid the scammers and to have some kind of trust in buyers if you're a seller. But here's a message I got from someone recently and just really unnecessary. Take a look at this. Hello, I paid immediately and then gave you exemplary feedback without even installing the filters. There were water filters and surprisingly enough, and this wasn't even a setup, I just been holding this to use in a video, I found these exact same filters again today eBay is all about feedback. Please return the courtesy and have a great night. Now, okay, yeah, polite and nice. You know, you know, no ill intent out of it or not being nasty. But look at the feedback this person has. 1,522 feedback. This person should not be asking for feedback. That's ridiculous. All right, first up, I grabbed a pair of Levi 560 denim. 560s are discontinued and these are vintage and if you do not know about Levi's the way you know they're vintage you get a single paper tag grab a few hats tightless Pro V got the patch got the foot joy a little dirty but I'll give it an oxy clean bath got a Nike Tiger Woods foundation also dirty but has clean up usually pretty good. OxyClean bath, soak them overnight. Let them dry outside in the sun. You know, 10 to 12 bucks each, no problem. And two, women's squirts. And I got the same exact. They were laying together in black. And these I don't even know value on. But usually Nike dry fit stuff does sell decent. Even like the Nike, you know, like the running pants or the shorts but I'll put them up for 10 bucks and I'd be happy with that considering I spent only 24 today you know the two hats and this could easily cover the haul alright continuing with the clothing I found these are two of the items that were in the one bin the brand is Untuck It great brand this one is in blue it has a two button and then I have one in green with the three button in that same bin that I was talking about where I find everything is this Lululemon women's jacket nice black and blue colorway
So that's one Lululemon jacket. Here is a second Lululemon jacket. Same style pretty much, but this one's in all red. Here's a Lululemon women's top that was all in that same bin. Lululemon. And this is kind of like a loose... It's got a built-in padded bra, and it's got like these back straps. The last piece that was in that same bin, here's a good brand to look for. This is only the second time I've ever found it. I found a t-shirt once. The brand is Gymshark. And these are just women's like little leggings, exercise leggings. Found this pair of Lucky Brand. And it's called the Abbey Bermuda. And the back has got like a stitch design. And the last two shirts. Not a vintage concert shirt or anything. It's kind of got like this, I guess almost like a tie-dye type pattern. ACDC plug me in. It's a sweatshirt. It is on the ACDC tag. And the same goes with this shirt. Just a Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, and um, again, not a concert shirt or a vintage shirt. And there's nothing on the back, so it's not a tour shirt. But again, this would be good for Depop. And this is the new style emblem. These are Nike dry fit pants. But as you saw, I, I think I showed it earlier, these were from a player. We have found, me and this other guy, one day we found a whole bunch of stuff from another dolphin that like was number 90 or something like that. And I still have a Lululemon jacket from it. So this is player issued. And these are like a heavier sweatpant. And then this one has the old school logo. They might have done some special honor day for older players or whatever they do. Again, Nike dry fit on field apparel for number 30. And these are like a lightweight. Alright, I found this Miami Dolphins number 13. This is a starter. Is the brand. Made in Korea, so this is kind of vintagey. Of course, Marino played a long time ago, so not a big deal. Size small, could be like a teenager's or a woman's, even a small man, I guess. All right, I showed these in a video from that one bin. Got these stack of T-shirts. This is a Rolling Stones, distressed. Found this Seinfeld. It's got a pretzel on the front, and then on the back has a picture of them. It says New York Crew. This is single stitch vintage. Dare. So I've heard vintage Dare does well. This is single stitch. Great clean condition. So we'll see. And then this is just a Lincoln Park. Which is a rock band. Not vintage. But all these t-shirts will go on eBay and Depop. Found a pair of Vans. Men's size 11. Brown and black. Zero wear to the treads. And I found this vintage camo John Deere hat. You can always tell vintage on John Deere. The position of the deer. The straight legs, and it looks like he's landing, is the vintage. The newer ones, he's going upward with the bent front legs. This needs a good bath made in Taiwan. They're also going to tell you that it's vintage. So I'll give this a bath, just clean it, starch it up, and it'll be good to go. Okay, once again, I'm going to do an OxyClean bath. Put a drip of Dawn and OxyClean in the bucket of hot water. Once that water clears up, I'm going to drop in the Merino jersey, which isn't bad, but let's brighten it up. And this crushed and kind of dirty John Deere hat. And then I got the two Aquasana. Shower filter replacement cartridges, AQ-4125, open box, this is how they come shipped. They have these stickers over them. These are the same exact things that I sold to that guy that in the feedback I was talking about. And these sell for like 30 bucks each. I'll lock them up and do two for like 50 something. So I did it last time, I think I sold two for 50 bucks. All right, so that was a good haul. A lot of good stuff. I'm definitely going to make some good money from today. Two and a half hours at the bins. Hopefully you saw something you like, maybe a brand you learned about. You'll look for it in your thrift stores and you'll make yourself money. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.